So this is going to be a short video about how I plant uh, my seeds for pepper breeding. So I've got my containers here and these have all been washed and sanitized and then they're just like little two inch pots set into a, a carrying tray. I've also got my seeds. So these are my packets of seeds. So this is a YBS by SRP, Yellow Brazilian Starfish by Sugar Rush Peach. And then I've got the labels pre-made for all these guys. And so you can see YBS by SRP, the cross, and then I've also included a five character uh, code. And so this will make life easier in the future. So the P stands for pepper, A stands for the year, A being 2021, and 001 is the cross. Again, YBS by SRP. Uh, we've also got the potting mix here, and so this is made just for seedlings. So it's one part peat, one part perlite, and then one part vermiculite. And you can see it's really fine. And then this was run through a strainer, a uh, two mil strainer. And that's just these guys. You can get them on AliExpress for really cheap, but you got to be able to read Chinese. Uh, the two there, that's two mil, and the six is six mil. And you can see them there, about what you'd expect. Uh, they get used in the kitchen, they get used for soil, get used for all sorts of things. Pretty handy if you want to pick one up, or you can make something like this from home, from whatever you find that's the right mesh size. same size container, taped up the bottom hole so I got a nice flat surface, and I'll use that just to compact the top layer. Alright, so now we're going to start planting our seeds. So I'm just going to work with one cross at a time, so this will be YBS by SRP. The seeds should all be about 100% viable, so I'm only going to plant two per cell, and I'll plant two cells, so ultimately I can pick the best plant and end up with two per cross here. We've got four good looking seeds. Got our two labels. is set up and all the seeds have been laid down. You can see them just sitting on the surface. Two or three per cell. And so now we are going to shake soil over the top to cover them. So I went ahead and cleaned the tray off since these are ultimately going to go indoors and I'm going to water them next. But before that, we're going to compress the soil just a little bit. And again, this makes good contact between the seeds and the uh, substrate so that they will hydrate well and that they won't dry out on you. So I'll spare you the rest of it, but I'm going to go ahead and do the other 17 or so. So watering in seeds should uh, definitely be done from the bottom. And that's what a sane and rational person would do, but I'm just going to very gently water them from the top. And it's critical not to put enough water that the seeds will float to the top of the surface. So I'm going to be real gently.
And then here are the plants in their uh, forever home. So I've got, you know, a heat mat on the bottom. This is like a 20 by 20 heat mat. You can get them on Amazon pretty cheap. Uh, keeping an eye on the soil temperature. So my cheap hygrometer and, and thermometer died, so I'm actually just using, you know, a voltmeter. And you can see it's at 21 Celsius, so it's running a little bit cold. I'd like to see it at about 26 or 27 Celsius. But everything's still warming up, so I'll keep an eye on it over the next day and make sure I don't cook my seedlings. Um, and it's under, you know, a fancy uh, LED fixture here. This is 300 watts. It's the Mars Hydro FC 3000. And uh, they were kind enough to, to provide this to me so I could produce F2 seeds for you guys this winter. And so you can see I got, you know, a lot of vertical space in here. This is just a 3x3 three three tent. I don't have any sort of cooling fans or anything like that, so I'm hoping that uh, just by having all the passive air intakes open on the bottom and, and the vents nice and open on the top, it'll stay pretty cool. But again, I'll be keeping an eye on everything, keeping an eye on the humidity within this tent, making sure it doesn't get too high. I don't want um, gray mold to take over and colonize the seeds and, and destroy them, let alone the temperature. So I'll keep you guys updated. I'll try to do you know a short video every week and show you the progress of the seeds. So until then, farewell.